This will be my first foray into the Pokemon Go Go Battle League, I guess. The Great League, of course, that we're doing right here for the preseason. And so we're using my dad's account right now. And, you know, what better way to start, I guess, than with his account. It's kind of like a good test for me. And so I'm actually going to reveal what happens because uh, I, I am recording this in post-production. We're going up against this Pikachu dude. <laughs> He's wearing the Pika onesie. Uh, it's a very common Pokemon in this. If people know what they're doing, they're probably using an Altaria. It can bust through shields like crazy if it has dragon breath. It's doubly weak to ice, and so even you seeing that with this Piloswine that my dad has right now, that still, it's outpacing basically the Piloswine now. He's actually going to switch out. I was a little bit surprised by that, but I guess Torkoal, a decent choice, uh, so I'm going to try a Stone Edge one more time before maybe uh, we switch out, and I am speeding this up just a little bit since this is the losing matchup. I, did I say that already? This is a match where I lose. I didn't always make the best decisions and things, but also that guy, he was probably better than me. I mean, this was literally the first battle that I did, and it was with my dad's account, which is lesser than my account. Um, we have discussed that on this channel before, if you are new. And so, anyway, this is, basically, this video that you're watching right now is gonna be a part one. There will be a part two here, where we finish out, uh, basically, of five battles, you know, that my dad is gonna do right here, from, from his account. Uh, really, I'm doing them, I should say. Anyway, I had Magneton in, uh, you know, expectation for kind of that all time uh, maybe uh, Azumarill team that seems so common. Uh, but this Poliwrath, actually, that's another great, great Pokemon for the Great League. And you're actually going to see why. Now, I've got an Alolan Ninetales out. Not too great, but not too horrible, I guess. And again, it would have been kind of that Altaria counter. And so, obviously, I kind of over-prepared. And, and it should be really evident why. You know, I put way too much. Like, I'm pretty ice-heavy right now. And uh, even though the Piloswine did, I guess, have Stone Edge as its move. Now, this uh, Poliwrath, the thing about it is that it can get energy so quickly. It's like, even if it has bubble, I mean, this guy uh, surprisingly uh, doesn't have bubble or mud shot on it. Now, he's going to be able to dynamic punch, and that can actually defeat my Alolan Ninetales, but even if I had beaten that Poliwrath right there, he had another Pokemon still that hadn't fainted yet. I guess that was the Altaria. And uh, so anyway, we're, we're now finally going to be in the winning. So this is all going to be winning from here on out, okay, you guys? <laughs> that was just, I guess, the embarrassing like first match jitters out of the way and everything. So interestingly enough, we both start off with a Lapras right here in this next Go Battle Great League battle. And so uh, this is going to be Ice Beam, of course, all Ice type Lapras right now. You can get these from the Research Breakthrough box. Lapras is decent. Now, I will admit, actually, and especially with these being my first, like, uh, Go Battle League battles, I am somewhat new to the PvP scene, not new at all to Pokemon Go. If you've seen my channel, you know, we've done, like, expert level and uh, even for beginners, you know, expert level breakdowns of the Team Go Rocket leader fights. These are somewhat similar, but <laughs> largely different in that, you know, you can decide when you're going to use the shields, and it's like, if you switch out your Pokemon, or they do theirs, or, you know, one of them faints or whatever, or after a charge move, everybody's going to attack instantly. You know, the Team Go Rocket leaders would stop, and so you always had that kind of two to three seconds of stagnation in those. Now, the cool thing is Raikou has actually kind of gotten an upgrade with some of the recent move pool shakeups that have gone on in the game, and so I still have two shields right here. I'm going to go ahead and shield from this Lapras, and this will be nice because, uh, of course, Raikou going to be type advantaged here, uh, and so kind of what the move shakeup did, I guess we'll say, is just that Raikou I have as my fast move, it's Volt Switch, which is actually kind of a uh, slow fast move. Normally, it was very hard to kind of get energy with that move and do, I guess, enough damage to make it worthwhile. You know, it's like, obviously, it did a little bit more damage, but it just wasn't getting the energy fast enough, and so they have upgraded that, I guess you could say. They've changed it up with the move pool shakeup, and so I'm going to go ahead and Thunderbolt this Moltres right out of there. That Moltres was very short-lived. Not the best choice to go up against this Raikou, but I don't think that that other player has very much choice. I think that if that's a she, you know, it is a she avatar. Sometimes guys use girl avatars or vice versa, but if that is a girl, I'm, I guess I'll say she may also kind of be a beginner somewhat. Uh, you know, these not like horrible choices, but not the best choices, and uh, ultimately, we kind of had the better moves, had the better power, just better everything. And so this can pretty much do it right here with the Lapras that I've got for my dad, and it's going up against the Glaceon. Of course, it's going to hang on just a little bit because that's ice against ice, like, go figure. But it's not going to be that long, so that's going to be a victory! Good job, Dad! So this next one, I thought, like, let's do a little bit of what we just did, but also introduce some other Pokemon into the mix right here. So this will be our last battle for the video, but uh, definitely worth analysis and everything like that. Very, very lucky. I, I feel like it always comes down to what's the, what's that 
that first Pokemon going to be? And yes, it will say weak connection like that if there is a weak connection. And uh, I actually have Google Fiber at my house, so we weren't at my house. I was actually recording this. Uh, there was like a hot spot on my phone, and I was just off in kind of the boonies or whatever, but I had to get this recorded while I was there. So anyway, that's going to be super effective against the Lapras, as you saw. And again, Raikou having that Volt Switch and Thunderbolt, no problem right now. It's, it's working out pretty good. He's sent in a Lucario, which I think normally would be pretty good, you know, and Lucario certainly doesn't do bad against this Raikou right here, but uh, we did at least have some energy ready. He's going to go ahead and block, which is good. Uh, oddly enough, he had shields and didn't block with that Lapras, so he did let it die. He let it kind of go to the sacrifice, uh, and so here we go. It's going to do close combat, which actually the interesting thing about that attack is normally if you're used to PvE like I am, you're not going to realize, of course, I mean, what I do realize, so maybe I'm backtracking a little bit, but uh, the defense is going to fall sharply for whoever uses it right there, so we just showed that. Uh, he's sending in a Chatot, so kind of funny. I mean, maybe Chatot can have some kind of power that I just don't realize, but I've always kind of been annoyed at that thing, and it actually is going to take out the Raikou. Funny, just kind of oddly enough, I guess we could say, but uh, Ice is also good against flying right here, so why not just pull in our Ice Pokemon, which is going to be the Alolan Vulpix right there. Again, I brought in an Ice type, you know, anticipating, like, is he going to have an Altaria? And it ended up not. Uh, so I think we might be playing against some people right now that are a little bit more new or just don't have the Pokemon yet that are the absolute best. And that's no diss to them because neither do I, really. <laughs> Actually, I think my dad does have some decent Great League Pokemon, though. So this was uh, kind of cool to try it out with his account first because I think my account, I often got rid of things that were much lower, you know. And so I don't think I have a lot of Great League Pokemon that are good, you know, that are going to be really good for this. So we'll see. <laughs> that does result in a Snorlax encounter uh, by chance. You know, you could encounter some other things things, but once you get two wins, you get an encounter with like one of five or six Pokemon. So we got a Snorlax, it's shit. But the next video coming up is going to be part two, so you'll get to see my dad finish out that cycle of five battles. And if you guys like my take on this, you know, the <laughs> Go League battles, maybe we'll keep doing them on this channel, along with the Team Go Rocket stuff, and whatever other Pokemon Go goodness is going on. You can use an end screen on screen, at least after that video is uploaded, you'll be taken to the next one. And so I'll go ahead and catch you guys on the next video vid and thanks for viewing.